video editors where they use Premiere Pro. What will be the difference between VBRO one pass, VBRO two pass? You could only say where we're now. VBRO. Sometimes we could just choose anyone where it's our mind. What will be the difference? Before I go explain the one and two, make a fair explain what it be VBRO. VBRO means variable bitrate. What it be variable? Variable now something will not stay one place. Something where they move. Something where they shake. Today, if it they come, tomorrow if you begin to shake. Example, video. This is my video where you they watch. This particular frame, I feel they like this. The next frame, I feel begin they do like this. I feel begin they do like this. I feel begin they dance. Variable, I they change. That's why variable bitrate they very important. So what the variable bitrate they do when you set them? Now say, you go analyze your video during export. You go come look for the parts where movement too much. Then come give them more bitrate. Simply, bitrate now they help your video quality. I don't know if you they understand. So when you they come for a particular scene, the software no go need to give more bitrate to that scene. The software go give more bitrate to the part where motion, where movement too much. Because the higher the movement, the more the bitrate so that it will get smooth export or smooth video. You don't understand what to be variable. I they change. So the computer to go into using sense, follow change. Because scene A and scene B, frame one and frame two will not be the same thing. So the computer going to use VBR, variable bitrate, take export this video. But what is the difference between the one and the two? The one now say the computer go just freestyle them one time. The computer go analyze your video once. You go export the video as you analyze and you export straight one. Then pass two. After you don't analyze them the first worker, the second pass now, you go come reapportion them well. You just like think about painting. You don't paint your house before, or you don't do near painter. You give you the record first coat and second coat. First coat, you could just paint the house. Then second coat, now you can't go around again. Cut say, okay, this part, you get a CB, I not to do this part well. This part, the cement is still the show. So that coat too for painting, and they make the painting the bojom, and they make painting the sharp, and they make the color they come alive. That second coat. So that second coat for painting be like VBRO pass two. Because if you export video for media encoder and you choose VBRO Pass 2, pay attention. When the video counts from 0 to 100, you go to say you don't finish. No. The thing will come go back again. You can't count another 0 to 100. So that second pass, now like refining the video. Now like a detailed export. Say, Baba, make a run this thing again. It's like the second coat when it comes to painting. Yes, both of them, they give bitrate according to the movement in the video, but the export, the refining, they happen for the second pass. Then, what they call become CBR. Look at me, you go see VBR1 pass, VBR2 pass, CBR. CBR na constant bitrate. Constant na the opposite of variable. If you know mathematics, you go know this thing. We get constant and we get variable. So constant narrative will be say you know they change. If for example you choose CBR, you can choose 20 bitrate or 20 target bitrate. It means say every frame go get that 20. So whether movement too much or movement not too much, each frame go get that 20 bit rate. Equality. You dance so you not dance so they don't set me say 20 bitrate. You they da you they laugh or you they sleep or you they clap or you they lie down or twenty bit rate. So each frame go get the same bit rate. One thing about CBR will be say some part of video they get higher quality past some parts because those parts will get less movement. They have a lot of bit rate to refine that particular scene or that particular frame. But the part will get so much movement because of say. Bitrate is fixed. They're gonna need to manage them. They're gonna need to manage the 20 bitrate because at 20 bitrate everybody go get. CBR is very important when you want to stream video. 
If, for example, you want to stream a particular video and you know one main network, they lag, you better say you export for CBRO. That is if quality not be a major thing. If the most important thing for a person to just see somebody, they talk, or to just watch something without paying attention to quality, CBRO is the guy. Because if you get higher bit rate for your video, your video size go big. And you're going to need more internet power, more network strength to stream them. But when you set them for CBR, you can go just stay on that part. Anything if you make them play frame one, that the same thing you can still use, they play frame two. Because there is no depth, there is no lightness or thickness of the video quality. All of them just did the same level, linear, straight line. I don't know what I do understand. VBR changes. VBR pass one changes, but not paying so much attention. VBR pass two changes in the movement of video, but with detailed exports going twice to get better quality. Then CBR constant. All frames, all scenes use the same target bitrate. I hope so you understand. Video don't finish now. You get another thing to add. Again, that thing to add. Okay, like the video. Maybe like the video. Yeah. Like the video. Comment if you get any question. Tutorial request. Anything you don't understand, use comment. You don't subscribe. And the problem with that, subscribe now. Do one matter the look you. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, turn on notification. Sharp. If you like, you like. If you like, you comment. If you like, you share. I don't go.